The next tag we're going to go over is the UI repeat tag. Um, I'm going to open the test app again from from zero. Um, the UI repeat is written like this: UI colon repeat. Uh, I'm going to make another Java class, the same as last time. So the UI repeat, like the output text, is for grabbing information back from Java and displaying it on the user interface side. Um, UI repeat being for collections um, or list of objects. For example, if we have a private array list of strings, I want to add the getters and setters for this and I'm just going to put it in the constructor. I'm going to put 10 values, random, or rather, uh, this uh, my array. add hello plus the index that we're in. Um, that's about it. So our new array list. On the index side, the value is going to be bound just like last time to the index control dot the parameter name. Um, you can close that and now this needs one more attribute. It's called VAR. This is setting a variable that we can reference from inside of this UI repeat tag to the value of the collection. I'm going to put test variable or test var just to uh, to demonstrate. Um, so right when we run this, what is what it's going to do is just going to do the same thing that the output text did by going back to the Java side, looking for get my array, and returning the value of my array. In this case. Um, all I did was instantiate a new array list in the constructor um, and I filled it with 10 um, values of hello plus the index of the loop. So this array list is going to be stored in a variable named testvar that we can access from within these UI repeat tags. For example, if I put a p tag in here and I say test value equals and I put a hashtag curly bracket again test bar. This should actually just work just like that since I just made it an array list of strings. Um, so I'm going to test that. And as you see, um, we have all our 10 values coming out with hello colon and the index. This is matching up with the index as zero. Um, if I have another, if I have like let's say five and I put this thing at 15. Right, I save that and it deploys it. Once you refresh your browser, it's going to start at 5 and end at 14. In order to check the actual index of the UI repeat loop, we have access to this from an attribute inside the UI repeat that is var status. This var status is going to keep a count of the current index in the loop of items from the collection. For example, if I put var status is um, you know, status, I'm going to put test value equals test var and index of repeat loop is, and I'm going to put status dot index. Now, if you save this, what's going to happen is it you're going to see the status being incremented from zero um, for however many items there are in the array list. So if you refresh this, you'll notice that the index of repeat loop is at, you know, whatever uh, counter is being incremented inside that loop. That's um, that's about it for the UI repeat. Um, this list does not have to be a array list of strings. If we have another class named some object with a string my name with getters and setters. 
if I add another array list named my object array that contains sub some object classes instead of strings and fill it by default, then we can access that by writing test var dot my name instead of just test var since it's now a type some object. Um, you can also have nested UI repeats 